Handling a ship in heavy seas can be challenging. It requires good situational awareness. Keeping an eye on the weather and the changing state of the sea. Noting the ship's movement through the water, thinking ahead. Ship stability depends on the relative positions of the vessel's centre of gravity, G, and its centre of buoyancy, B. The location of B when the vessel is upright and its location when the vessel is inclined to one side determines the position of what's known as the metacenter of the vessel, M. Movement on any of the ship's axes can lead to stresses on the ship's hull, cargo and engines and affect stability. There are three factors to consider. The motion of the vessel, the mechanical stress caused by that motion and the risk of damage that can result. The effects vessels can experience in head seas include pitching and pounding, or bottom or bow wave slamming, which can both cause whipping. Other effects include hogging or sagging, and the shipping of green seas. In beam seas, even ordinary damp and rolling can lead to deck edge immersion. And in stern seas, a surfing effect can cause the ship's engines to race and this can lead to broaching too. Complex rolling motions can involve rolling where the amount of roll continues to increase significantly with each cycle and can reach angles of 30 or even 40 degrees. This effect is known as synchronous rolling. Synchronous parametric rolling can result in broaching too, loss of stability, and loss of engine and rudder control. Changing the ship's heading or reducing speed will stop many effects before they develop further. Remember that there is a detailed explanation of all the topics covered in this video and more information in the workbook which comes with the program. Good ship handling means applying common sense practical seamanship and sound management skills to the situation and, in doing so, keeping a number of elements in balance. Doing this will ensure that your ship and the lives of those depending on you remain safe.